Sounding the alarm, Google's latest project, Heritage on the Edge, is shedding the light on how our climate is impacting our cultural sites all around the world. Using 3D mapping and other photo tools to capture these areas before they disappear. Joining us this morning to talk more about the project is Chance Kochnauer, a project a program manager at Google Arts and Culture. Hope I got your last name right there, Chance. Thanks for joining yes, us. Did. And tell us more about this project, Heritage on the Edge. Yeah, so Heritage on the Edge is a, as you said, it shines a light on the diverse impacts of climate change around the world uh, to cultural heritage sites. And this particular project, it tells the local chapters of a global story of how local experts and communities are using uh, technology to adapt to the changes and also telling us what is at stake at their sites. Um, Anyone anywhere can find the stories, the, the interactive stories, 3D models, and videos about this project at g.co slash heritage on the edge or on the free Google Arts and Culture app. Pretty cool stuff, Chance. We're looking at the video right now showing the model. Can you walk us through the process of actually capturing and creating these 3D models? Sure. So they use a variety of technology. One of them is called photogrammetry, which means you take photographs of the same object or building from different angles. And then by putting those photographs into a computer program, it can calculate the three dimensional model that it's uh, that you're taking uh, photos of. And those cameras can be mounted on either an aerial platform like a drone or they can be taken from a tripod at ground level. The other technology is a 3D scanner. Um, that basically shoots out 3D points at 360 degrees from a spinning, rotating mirror, uh, mirror that then takes those measurements to create a 3D model. Which sites do you have documented? So for this particular project, we worked on uh, Rapa Nui, also known as Easter Island, as well as Chan Chan in Peru, uh, Kilwa Kisiwani in Tanzania, the historic mosque city of Bagarat in Bangladesh, and the capital city of Scotland, Edinburgh. So what have we learned about the effects of climate change on the sites that you documented? We've learned a number of things. Uh, one is that the diverse impacts of climate change are happening in different ways at, in, in, uh, at different locations. Uh, for example, on the island of Rapa Nui, there's coastal erosion occurring and the, primarily the cultural heritage sites or the statues, which are called moai, were positioned there by the previous, by the uh, the older civilizations that lived there, and so because of coastal erosion and rising sea levels and increased storm activities, there they are at risk. Mm, yeah, Chance Kokenauer, thank you so much for for joining us and sharing this. Mm. I think Kelly will help really raise awareness too, right? People can, you know, who don't have the chance to travel to these spots can right. see what's happening. Technology is great yeah. when we can actually learn from yeah. it and, and yeah, hopefully yeah, do yeah. something about it as well.